Welcome back to Tuesday Tips with the West of Scotland Regional Equality Council. Today we're going to make a healthy dessert. It might seem like that's something that shouldn't really exist, but it does. We're going to be making roast pears, which is a great way to sort of trick kids and families into getting one of their five a day. By roasting them, it will cook quicker, which means we're not faffing around poaching them for half an hour to 40 minutes making the syrup as well and basically we just put it all together, put it in the oven, we can forget about it and then serve up a delicious treat later on. We've got pears, the good thing about roasting them as well is they don't need to be that ripe so it really doesn't matter too much about whether they're soft or hard. I've got ricotta here, cinnamon, some amazing red currants that actually come from my neighbour's garden, walnuts but you could use any soft nut and then amaretti biscuits. I've picked these because they're low in fat and nice light and crunchy but you could use any sort of biscuit or dark chocolate and then I've got honey you could also use any sort of sugar syrup or maple syrup as well so we just need to start by chopping each pear in half and then getting a spoon to take out the inside these ones are nice and ripe so it's really soft you might need to use a sharp knife to do this though. This really is the messiest part of the whole process. The rest is super simple. By roasting them instead of um, poaching them as well, we're avoiding cooking them in all that sugar. So while it's not quite as luxurious a treat, it's so much better for you. Now I've got my pears all arranged in the pan, I'm just going to put a little spoonful of ricotta in each one. If you're wanting to make them vegan, Oatly do an amazing vegan creme fraiche, which would work really well here as well. Or just really any sort of, we're looking for the tart flavour here that comes with ricotta. But you could also maybe whip it up some mascarpone. Okay. Now, inside each little hole, what we want to do is try and get some honey in. So it sort of fills up in there. If you're looking to do this with like no sugar, then obviously you could skip this part out. Or you could add loads more if you want to make it sweeter. A nice natural honey is going to bring out all the sweetness of the pears. I'm just going to even them up a little bit and finally sprinkle them with a generous helping of cinnamon. I'm going to put these in the oven now at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. So for each pair, that, that's about one of our five a day, and if we can add on about a cup of fruit per serving, then that makes it two. Ricotta is super low in calories, there's about 14 calories in each of these spoonfuls within the pears, meaning that one full pear with a bit of honey, the cinnamon, the nuts and the biscuit that we're going to add is about 150 calories for each portion. Now these little biscuits crunch up really nicely and even if you don't have one of these guys you can just do it with a rolling pin in a bag or a spoon on your chopping board. I've got walnuts in here too just because it's a really good sneaky way of getting in those nutrients as well. These are the sorts of things that you can make up hours in advance if you're having people over and leave in the fridge up until you're ready to cook. 
we're just going to take each pair and remember those berries that came from my neighbour's garden by adding in lots of them we're sneaking in all the fruit and it looks a lot more fun than trying to force an apple to someone I'm going to sprinkle with biscuits and the nuts in there as well which gives us a nice bit of crunch for what is primarily very sweet and soft dessert Now hold off on pouring any more honey on there, it's going to be really sweet and nice but you could put a little bit of dark chocolate grated over the top if you wanted. And there we go, 20 minutes later and we've got our roast pears with ricotta, honey, walnuts, biscuit and berries. All for about 150 calories give or take and only 3% of the daily fat intake that we want to try and achieve. It's low in sodium, high in fibre and has trace amounts of calcium, iron and potassium so we can at least tell ourselves that this is a healthy dessert.